hi welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is juliana and i'm a makeup lover today's video is going to be all about my cleonard cosmetics single shadow so i got 20 of the jewel toned um shadows and these are what they look like so what i've done is i've kind of put them together according to the color that pulls the strongest to me so the ones that pulls green the ones that pulls red purple just so that we can compare them closely and you can see what the difference between those shadows are but before we get into the swatches i just wanted you to know what's on my eyes so i've got a pomegranate subversive palette as well as glam light donut palettes so i use the glam light donut palette mainly for the mattes and i went for the shimmers and pomegranate palette I did film this look so if it's not already out it's going to be out soon but this is what the inside of the two palette looks like so absolutely beautiful use the pink purple and blue in this um, palette and i use the equivalent of those colors in this palette i will also have everything on my face in the description box so check out the description box to see what i've got on my eyes and on my face today after the swatches, I'm going to let you know what I think about these shadows, my buying experience, you know, how to best use these shadows in order to avoid fallout or cracking on your face. But that would all come after the swatches. So let's get into the swatches. So the first shade we are going to be swatching is Anil. And this is what that looks like. I don't know what shift you can see on your hand, but this is what it looks like on my hand. So Anil shifts turquoise blue, indigo and violet. And I'm going to swatch it on the side of my hand. So as I saw my hand in this way you can actually see the blue. Up next is trefoil and this is what trefoil looks like. So trefoil is a shift of lime, emerald and turquoise blue and swatched on the side of my hand. That's trefoil. So I can see the shift of blue faintly. I don't know what you can see on your hand but from the camera I'm seeing shifts of blue up next is oculus so oculus shifts turquoise blue violet pink red and orange gold i can definitely see the purple i can see bluish shade on the side of my hand that's what oculus looks like so you can see the shift better when i bend my hand Gorgeous. I mean, what attracted me to the reason why I picked the Jewel Multichrome is because of the black base. It gives it a fantastic um, shift. I mean, from my hand, if I look this way, I can see purple. But if I look at the camera, I'm seeing green. I hope it comes across on the camera. Now I can see purple on the screen. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, the next shade is Gargoyle. So Gargoyle shifts warm pewter lime emerald and turquoise indigo violet. That's a lot of shades. And I hope it's coming across. I can see definitely purple or indigo if you like. And on the side of my hand. That's Gargoyle. I know this shade is quite popular. I mean I've seen people's comments about this particular shade but that's gargoyle up next is castle and castle shades teal blue indigo so that's castle and swatched on my hand so i can definitely see the indigo in this as well when I turn this way, I can see indigo from my side. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's castle. 
all right lastly on the green section is patina and this is what patina looks like it's actually like a yellow to me it looks like a yellow green or oh, patina according to the website shifts gold lime emerald turquoise so let's see what that looks like swatched on my hand so that's patina i can see dark green slash yellow yeah definitely yellow gold so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna swatch all those greens together on the side of my hands just so you can see what the differences are all right this is the six shades i first swatched for you so as you can see they are clearly different although when swatched individually or when you see them in the pan they don't look that much different but swatching them together makes a lot of difference absolutely gorgeous at the end of this video i also put some swatches um as a picture just for reference and um, for you so i'll put the names against the shades but these are all what looks like green to me in the jeweled motochrome okay moving on to the purples at the bottom of um the palette okay the next shade is crown glass and crown glass shifts Teal, indigo, pink, red, orange, and gold. And on my hand, that's crown glass. Okay, I can definitely see some shift. You can see the indigo. The indigo is quite strong. I can see a bit of the gold um, shift in there as well. The next shade is Spur. Which shifts royal blue, violet, red, and orange. This is actually my least favorite because it's very, very flaky. It's always having flecks in the palette, even when not touched. So. Okay, I can see indigo, but that's the only shift I can see. I don't know what you are seeing on your hand, but if I twist my hand, all I can see is the indigo shift. That's spare. The next shade is lunette, and lunette shifts blue, indigo, violet, pink. And this is what lunette swatches like. So I can't see that many shifts in this one. I really can't see the shift in this one. All I see is blue, the indigo. That's about it. I don't know what you can see, but yeah, this one is a very difficult one to see the shift. And when looking at it as well, all I can see is blue. Oh, okay, purple. If I twist it this in, I'm seeing purple. Or on the screen, I'm seeing blue. And that's about it. Those are the two shifts I can see on this one. And that's Lynette. Swatching the three on my hand. Remember, this is the three at the bottom. This is what it looked like. So it does look different. As you can see. So crown glass has a bit of a green in the shift. And that's a bit of purple, the spire. And Lynette again. It's very difficult to see the shift. But at least they are different. Yeah, I can definitely see differences in the three. Even though they look alike in the pan, they definitely look different. Okay, let's move on to the next set of shades. Okay, we're going to move on to these three, which looks more like pink, your oranges. So just these three sets, we're going to swatch and compare them together. The first one out of the orange set is Sand Blast. And Sand Blast shifts orange, gold and lime. And sandblast on my hand. That is what sandblast looks like. So I can definitely see the red shift. I can see a bit of a goldish brown. But that's sandblast. Okay, moving on to forge, which is my second favorite shade. Uh, forge shifts 
rose orange gold lime and teal and this is what forge looks like on my hand okay definitely can see the lime you can see the red or pinkish I think forge looks like the multi-chrome shade in the divine rose 2 palette pamagra palette so I can definitely see lime I can see pink and that's forge okay the next shade is kiln shifts red orange and gold and this is what kiln looks like so that's it I can see a bit of lime yellow in it but that's about it from my angle anyway so these are the three shades of the pinkish and um, red and orange at the bottom of the palette so this is what they look like so they are definitely different all the three are different and they have different shifts to them all right moving on to the four yellow shades at the end of the palette over here okay this is vermil Vermeil shifts warm gold yellow lime and this is Vermeil swatched so I don't know what you can see I can see pink on top of the yellow but that's about it yeah you can see pinkish Okay, let's move on to the next one. The next shade is Wild, which shifts grungy rose pink, antique gold, and lime. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Swatched. Okay, yeah, I can see the green, I can see the pink. Yeah, I see a bit of gold in there as well. So that's Wild. The next shade is burnish and burnish shifts orange gold yellow and lime even before i read the description i can definitely see the yellow and orange in this one before swatching and let's swatch it so that's burnish yeah you can definitely see the orange in this one orange yellow and gold i can definitely see on this one Burnish. All right, the next shade in the yellow um, section is weathered, and that's what weathered looks like. So weathered shifts antique gold, moss green, and mint silver. Well, I can't see any silver yet, but let's swatch it and see what it looks like. So swatching it right here. Okay, I see yellowish green. Hmm. that's about it don't know what you can see but that's what I can see yellow and green yeah it does look like a antique gold like a burnt yellow gold yeah and that's weathered the last four I swatched are these same um, four shadows over here and this is what they look like so again even though they look similar in the pan they do look different when you swatch them i mean look at this there's more of pink in that one and this one looks more like a really really chateau's um kind of green yellow so they are definitely different the only two i might say is very very close in similarity is these two but you can definitely see a little bit of a difference of shifts to justify having them all i suppose okay so that's the yellow orange green session finally let's move on to the last four shades here so those are the only four i have not swatched okay the next shade is rosette and it shifts indigo violet red and orange gold so let's see what rosette is all about
So that's what is that. I don't know what I can see in there. All I see is blue. Yeah, maybe a bit of a red um, when I turn it this way. But that's rosette. Next is Flame Blown. Flame Blown shifts indigo, violet, pink, red, orange, and gold line. Okay. And this is what Flame Blown swatches like. Okay, I see purple, a bit of red. Yeah, yeah, so it's more of a darker purple than the first one. The first one has more blue in it than this one. But that's flame blown. Okay, the next shade is Smolder, which is one of my favorite shades as well. It shifts magenta, orange, gold, lime. And this is what small that swatch is like if I just swatch it on this side. So that's smaller. So I can see the bit of lime in it. And I can see a bit of a light purple. Smaller. Finally, we have Gothic. Gothic shifts violet, pink, red, orange, and gold. And this is what Gothic swatch is like. So, again, very dark purple. I can also see yellow shifts in it. When I turn my hand, when I look this way, I can see the yellow, I can see the lime shifts in it. Well, so the last four I've just swatched are these ones at the end here, and this is what they swatch like. I have to say, out of those four, this is my favorite shade because it looks more like it. It's got a bit of a turquoise blue shift in it. So that's the last shade. All right, once again, these are all the swatches of the jeweled multichrome. So these are the six greens and then the blues and then on this side you have the purples and lastly the yellows and the orange and red. So they are quite vibrant and very pigmented. So that's all of the 20 jeweled multichrome swatched. I'm going to leave a picture also on my Instagram. So watch out for that. And I will label each and every one of them um, with the names. I'm also open to be able to do a high swatch. I'm not promising. If I can do high swatches of each one of them, I will try. But as for my thoughts on these shadows, they are well worth every single penny. They are beautiful shadows. Soft shadows. Minimal fallouts absolutely wonderful even when they fall they don't stain your skin they don't stain your makeup so you can easily brush them off i think probably because of the black base it makes it so easy to brush them off they are so easy to apply as well i mean i did my order in december and i believe i got them early february which was quite good and it was just remarkable i was going to select a few shades but as soon as I saw things were running out of um, stock, I just decided to buy all of the jeweled multichromes. And I don't regret buying them all in one go because I get to pay just one shipping cost as opposed to having to buy and buy and buy. So, I mean, it will be a while before I buy another one. It would have to be a massive sale. But I don't regret buying all the 20. They are equally beautiful. And the way you apply them also brings out more of the shift. That's what I found because I've been wearing this almost every day now. It's so addictive. So I've been playing with different mats and the same um, shimmers just to bring out the shifts in this. And that's the best way to use them. I also found it's best to use them sprayed. Just spray it with no glitter glue. When I've used it with glitter glue, I had more of a texture and a bit of a breakup. But when I've used it without any glitter glue, it's lasted until I took my makeup off. So that's what I do now. I don't use it with any glitter glue. I found it's best to just spray them, apply them. Spraying them makes them kind of like a liquid molten. So when you apply them, they just kind of like stick to the lids. And 
that's my view that's my th take on this um cleaner multichromes they are well worth the money if you can afford them they definitely are worth investing in so that's my review of the cleaner shadows and hope you've enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed the swatches and my video please like comment and subscribe to my channel and until next time i'll see you